good job, Shabu Ross, back at it again with another video. So, I got a clip that was sent to me. Uh, it was kind of ironic, too. It was sent to me right before the big show actually left WWE and went to AEW. WWE top 100 KO punches of all time by none other than the big show so it was crazy this clip got sent to me and then like maybe a couple days later he joins aew which honestly i think aew will probably use him better than wwe has done in the past few years um big show is like he's always been like in this like space of potentially being a, a main eventer but ultimately being in like this mid card purgatory um and we all know vince mcmahon loves the the tall huge muscular big guys but it's like they never really utilize the big show effectively consistently you know what i'm saying there's been plenty of times the big show has been belittled by people that he should literally be destroying but wwe booked them that way or you really can't take the big show seriously even though you should by the size and the stature of this huge individual but the way they booked them you didn't really care about the big show so hopefully i'm willing to bet AEW will probably use him more effectively towards the tail end of his career because he deserves it man he's been rocking with wwe for a very long time so it was kind of surprising that he ended up going to AEW. you know what i'm saying because I don't know when was the last time I saw a big show on WWE television in a prominent role. You feel me? They would bring him back to for him to get squashed by Brock Lesnar. Like stuff like that. Like I you know what I'm saying? It was just kind of waste of waste of of someone that was there through the majority of like WWE's transformation, you know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, you know, how things have changed, like the wrestling landscape has changed, but hopefully AEW uses them better. So we're gonna check out some of his top KO moments, man. I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 40k. Let's uh, you know what I'm saying? Let's go down memory lane uh, from the big show. How we gotta skip through some of this. Oh no. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, this is funny when he was standing up to the authority. I'll probably turn down the music, honestly. Maybe for, for copyright reasons and stuff like that. But just <laughs> And the thing is, them punches always look pretty deadly. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just always... Look at that. <laughs> like, how people would just sell them. Like, it, it just... <laughs> like I said, there's there's been times where the big show was used effectively. You know what I'm saying? Like, the few times he was doing stuff with the authority, it kind of worked. But like I said, there was, you know stephanie and and triple h they you know they found themselves always being you know someone to like just bully the big show and you'd be like how why is that a thing <laughs> but it does look like that move even even though sometimes it didn't look good and then sometimes it did look good like it, it, it looked like someone that huge punching you in the face would probably do some damage Granted, there was a lot of times that, you know, it, it came to the wrestler selling it. Like, right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Bo Dallas. <laughs> it's the selling of it, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, some of them look good, like I said. And then some of them, you can tell he ain't really hitting the face or whatnot, so... And he's had a, a few decent title runs, kind of, sort of. Like, I don't know if you guys remember. I, I think, I, don't, I forgot what year it was. But, like, he literally, I want to say, I think Daniel Bryan was a heel at the time. And, bro, what the fuck, dog? <laughs> bro, that looked bad. That didn't look good at all. But 
Daniel Bryan was a heel at the time. He won the money in the bank and he cashed in on the big show and I believe took his world heavyweight championship. Like that's that's one of those things where it's like that's crazy. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I have to probably turn down the music cuz like I said I don't I don't I don't know how if the music is copyrighted and whatnot. You know, I have it low in the background, but it's just funny seeing this. Now, there's been some of them. I don't know if they're going to show it in this clip where, like, they would show the slow-mo of him punching someone, and it actually looks pretty brutal. So I'm not sure if they're going to show it here. But a lot of these, it's just, it really comes down to how you sell it. That's literally what it is. Like, I can tell if the Big Show actually punched someone, like, legit used all his force and like his momentum because you can tell a lot of it is he's not really using like his full body weight his momentum you know he's he's trying to make it look like he's punching someone hard because i'm pretty sure he could give a concussion like dude's hands is damn near bigger than my face his fist is bigger than my face damn near so i'm sure if he legit actually just was angry enough and just wanted to like knock you out i'm sure he would be able to I'm, I'm willing to bet he would be able to though but i will say this about the big show i don't know if you guys have noticed but dude had lost a lot of weight bro like for someone that huge and that big he had lost a lot of weight bro like a serious amount of weight bro that's that's what made it like um like just crazy bro like someone that huge like he was gone for a minute and he came back and he was slimmed down like it was crazy to see a big show slim down more muscular you know what i'm saying so it was you know it was just cool to see that but a lot of these punches is just like yeah <laughs> it's just it's just <laughs> david otunga it's just the selling it's the selling that makes this funny look at this Bro, hold on. We gotta go. I wish. Oh my God, that didn't even hit Vince. I want y'all. I wish I if I can pause it at the right time. Hold on. I I, I kind of muted it just a little bit, but if I can pause this at the right time, look. I don't know if it's gonna let me. Oh uh, damn it! It's, it's doing it off the volume. I I, I literally want y'all to see how sometimes these punches don't look that good. Damn it! It, it skips too far ahead, but bro. Look at this. He literally doesn't hit him at all. <laughs> he barely hits him, bro. <laughs> and then Vince just sells it, bro. Like, I don't know, man. It's, it's, it's all down to camera work and top. Now, that one actually looked pretty fucking vicious. That one actually looked pretty vicious. Not gonna lie to you. Bro, that one look bad. <laughs> that one look so fucking bad. <laughs> that one look bad. That one look pretty pretty vicious. And that one, it's like the people that know how to sell real. Bro, hold on, bro. He didn't hit him, bro. Oh, he didn't hit that breath, bro. <laughs> hold on, I gotta time it. Oh my, bro, he didn't hit the ref, bro, at all, it's, oh, I wish on YouTube videos you can go frame by frame, oh my god, I'm really trying to time this, bro, <laughs> he didn't hit him, <laughs> this is one of the times, like, it, it all comes down to camera work, too. So, someone should have cut to another angle in the back of, like, right before the punch hit, someone should have cut to, like, the ref falling so it looks like he got punched. Because this, this looks bad. He barely even hit. Look <laughs> at the ref, bro. Oh, my God, dog. Randy Orton. <laughs> I need to sell it. Bro. Oh my goodness, bro. This is is crazy. <laughs> oh 
Oh. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me, bro. It's just, it looks, a lot of these don't look that good. Some of them look good, and then some of them just look bad. That one actually looked pretty good. That one looked good. <laughs> just nigga punch. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm. I know this. This shouldn't be as funny as it is, but it's just. It's the selling of now. That one looked pretty good too. That one looked pretty good, bro. That, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Oh my god, dog. <laughs> like I said at the beginning of this video, I hope AEW uses him way better than WWE. Like, I get it, they, they was going with the punch as his as his finishing move, but I I prefer the choke slam. Uh, I believe that used to be his uh finishing move, but the punch was cool. Like I said, it's just it literally depends on how someone sells it. One to the camera angles so you can see there's plenty of clips in here where the camera angle was like not they were in the wrong position so when he punches them you can tell he's not even punching them or barely hitting them and it looks bad you know what i'm saying like granted the big show is a believable person i i literally feel if he literally got mad at someone in like in a non-joking manner no, this is not wrestling involved. Like someone's trying to hurt his family, like or he's about to get into a fight. I literally believe he actually connects and punches someone in the face. Either their jaw will be broken or they're gonna legit be knocked out and probably have a concussion. Dude's hands is massive, bro. So I don't know. But like I said, hope he does well in AEW. I want the best for him in AEW, and I hope they use him correctly. So comment down below. Let me know how. Are there any Big Show fans out there? Like, were any of you guys a, a fan of of the Big Show at any point? You know what I'm saying. And if you are, if you guys are glad that he went to AEW, you know what I'm saying. Do you think AEW will use him better? Do you think he, you know what I'm saying, um, making that decision to go to AEW was the best for him, or do you think he probably should have retired? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to get your thoughts and opinions on this. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 40K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.